Hi everyone, it's Brenda. I wanted to come on and do a quick um, tutorial for you guys. Uh, I was asked to make, um, show how I make my file folder cards. And I'm going to try to do that pretty quick because I only have a couple minutes before everyone starts coming home. Um, I take a regular piece of cardstock, 8.5 by 11, and cut it in half to make a two size card, which is um, eight and a half by five and a half piece of paper and then you're going to score it at um, five and a quarter you know fold it completely in half to make your card base so this is your normal card base that everyone makes uh, you can get two out of one eight and a half by eleven and then what we're going to do um, is bring in the trimmer and I'm going to cut off the front of the card. I want to cut um, half an inch. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this from behind the camera. <laughs> but yeah, I want to cut half an inch off the front. And this, um, you can see how to make these um, all over. This is not my design. Um, it's just how I make them. And then you take your pattern paper. I'm just going to use a plain green here. And I did cut it... Um, so it's shorter on the sides because I was planning on doing a matting but I didn't cut it exactly but that's okay um, so this is actually um, you would cut this to the dimensions of the card which would be the um, now it would be three and three quarters by the um, five and a five and a quarter so I added some double sticky tape here to this and I'm going to peel this off off camera sorry guys just easier for me to see back here and a little quicker too I'm going to try to get over here and the lighting is kind of off again because it's been gray and yucky <laughs> okay so I'm going to try to line this up my best that I can from behind a tripod <laughs> um, so there you have it. This will be the front of your card, like I said, because you trim that off. Um, and then what you're going to do is get your envelope punch board. And we are going to line this up with the center here. Hopefully you can see it is actually lined up here to this side, the left side. Okay. And that's where you want your pot to punch. And then we're going to slide this over to three inches. So you want to make sure that this mark here, that little cut that you had, lines up with the three inch line over here. And punch there. So it's going to look like this. And you're going to flip your paper. You see how I did that? So this is here. And we're going to do the same thing here on this side. Line it up with the left side of the punch, punch down, slide up to your three inch mark, punch again, and then all you have to do now is trim off this piece, and let me go get my scissors because it's a little easier that way for me, and I'll be right back. Sorry guys, I actually do like to use my trimmer but this one is a guillotine and I don't trust myself enough to stop <laughs> so um, what you do now like I said is we're going to cut this section off and normally I would use an exacto but um, that's in the other room so there I have my mark just to start because I'm going to even that out and you'll trim that off and we're going to trim that off level So there you have your file, file folder for the front and then we'll have it for the back as well. You want to do the same thing for the side that only has the one cut. See this has a cut and a cut. This only has the one. So we're just evening it up now. And if it's not straight you can go back and straighten it out like how that's kind of crooked. I would go back and level that out some more. but. That's the base. Now you're ready to decorate it however you want. You can 
leave it as a card. You could have it this way. You could have it this way. You could seal up these ends with some glue so it's like a pocket and have a piece of paper, you know, another piece of cardstock inside that pulls out. Um, you can use it to hold a tea bag or two or a little bit of goodies. The possibilities are endless, guys, but that is my quick tutorial. I hope this helps for you guys who requested it. And thanks for watching, everyone, and stopping by. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.